Hey, this is Ari, and in this video, I want to share with you a little clip from my much longer presentation all about the science around saunas. This was a presentation I did that I forget exactly how long it was. The full length version is 45 minutes or an hour or something like that. And uh, it's packed with content, but of course, modern world, people have short attention spans. So I wanted to break things down into little valuable chunks and go over some of the key elements of that presentation. And this is one of the clips that I wanna share with you. Um, saunas are incredibly powerful in terms of their ability to, as, as a hormetic stressor, in terms of their ability to stimulate adaptations in our body that ultimately confer uh, mitochondrial growth, mitochondrial biogenesis, neuroprotective effects, um, antidepressive effects, increased athletic performance, uh, and much, much more. Um, disease prevention, reductions in cardiovascular disease, neurological disease, all cause mortality. Saunas are an absolutely wonderful tool and are extremely effective also for helping you to increase your energy levels. I highly recommend them. And in this clip, you're going to find out a bit of the reason why I'm such a huge fan of saunas. So enjoy. And if you want to listen to the full length presentation, I also have an article associated with that. The links for that are down in the description below. Enjoy. First of all, I want to give some context uh, around why saunas have such profound effects on our body. How are they actually working? So first of all, sauna use is a stressor. Now, I just threw a lot of you guys off by saying that, by saying it is a stressor, it is a type of stress, and I'm going to explain more about what I mean by that in a second, but it is heat stress. If you go into the scientific literature uh, around sauna use, it's often referred to in the, in the scientific literature as heat stress, quote unquote. So here's the, the thing, as much as stress has become a really bad word and gotten a bad rap, um, certain kinds of stressors can very counterintuitively be extremely powerful for human health, uh, much more than people realize. And we actually need these stressors in our life in order for ourselves to function normally. It's a key point. I'm, I'm gonna come back to that more, but now the, the key concept here, the, the point to understand of what this is all about is something called hormesis. It's one of my favorite topics, but uh, if you're watching the video, I'm showing some screenshots of some research on the screen here. This one's called Stress Response Hormesis and Aging. That which does not kill us makes us stronger. And basically, there's lots of research showing that hormesis is linked with longevity, is linked with the rate of aging, is linked with resistance to disease, and a number of other important benefits. In my opinion, Hormesis may very well be the single most important strategy to improve your health, energy, and longevity. And it's something that very few people have ever heard of, even though there's a mountain of scientific literature on it. Very few people have ever heard of it. Even very few of my peers and colleagues, um, other health experts, have ever heard of it. Uh, unfortunately, much to the detriment of the people they work with, in my opinion. Uh, but hormesis is the process by which a mild or acute stressor increases resistance to other stressors and increases the health, resilience, and vitality of the organism, and the organism being you in this case. So again, this, this quote from Nietzsche, what doesn't kill us makes us stronger. Now, another key point to understand about this is that it doesn't just increase resilience and resistance to the stress that you originally exposed yourself to, it actually builds in resilience at the cellular level and makes the cells resistance, resistant to a wide variety of different stressors, not only the one that you expose them to. Uh, again, there's a number of studies, I'm showing screenshots again here for people watching the video, uh, showing that stress tolerance through hormesis is one of the major keys to longevity and resistance to disease. Uh, regarding stress and uh, understanding how stress works in our bodies, it's important to understand sort of two different kinds of stress. There's something called eustress and then there's distress. Now, it, it's possible basically to overdo stress, as most people are aware of, but it's also possible to underdo stress. 
Now, unfortunately, while most people are very focused on the types of stress that they're overdoing, so mainly chronic psychological stress, for example, and just being sort of stressed out and not taking enough time to relax and wind down and, and, and de-stress through meditation or yoga or breathing practices and vacations and things like that, we are also greatly understressed in the types of hormetic stressors that have the most profound benefits on our physiology. So there is a certain optimal level of including certain kinds of stressors and excluding other types of stressors. Now, if, if all of this discussion sounds weird to you and you're like, what is this guy even talking about with stress and this doesn't make any sense and I thought stress was bad and this guy's not making any sense. Okay, well, you're, you're actually more familiar with stress than you realize because exercise, physical exercise, like going for a run or lifting weights, is actually a type of hormesis. It's a type of metabolic stress. It's a transient metabolic stress that you're subjecting your body to. And uh, it's something that is not intrinsically beneficial, but is beneficial by virtue of the fact that it is a stressor, temporarily stressing your cells out, and then your cells create adaptations to that stress that ultimately confer resilience and resistance to various diseases. So that's what makes exercise very helpful. Um, again, not intrinsically beneficial. You'll find that out very fast if you massively overdo exercise relative to what your fitness level actually is. So if you're currently sedentary, you go decide to do a, a two hour super intense weightlifting workout with the heaviest weights that you can lift, or you go for a 20 mile run, uh, you're gonna find out real fast that your body is exhausted for days after that. Uh, you're gonna cause lots of cell damage. You may even cause scarring of blood vessels that, that uh, deliver oxygen to the heart, uh, deliver blood to the heart. Um, you may even have a heart attack and die. It's not uncommon um, for people doing extreme amounts of exercise. So exercise again is a stress. It becomes beneficial if you do it in an appropriate way relative to what your body is currently adapted for, currently fit for. And, uh, and then you push just beyond that to create new adaptations. That's what ultimately confers the resistance and disease and resilience in the face of stress. So here's the thing, heat stress, like saunas, is also a type of hormetic stress, just like physical exercise. And again, heat stress is incredibly powerful medicine, just as exercise is. Just as we know exercise is linked to a mountain of, of, of health benefits, you know, there's a huge amount of science showing exercise prevents heart disease and various types of cancers and diabetes and um, high blood pressure and neurological diseases and basically diseases in every system of the body. Uh, the same is true of heat stress, of sauna use. It, it, it not only provides resistance to heat stress, but again, remember the concept of hormesis, it provides resistance to a wide array of different kinds of stressors and ultimately a huge array of diseases in multiple systems of the body from neurological diseases to the heart, to diabetes, to many types of cancers. Hey, this is Ari, and if you enjoyed this little clip, I highly recommend checking out the full-length podcast by clicking the link down below this video in the description. Check it out. You're going to learn a ton more valuable information. Also, as always, I want to mention at the Energy Blueprint, we offer a ton of solutions to help you increase your energy and as a side effect, help you prevent disease, dramatically improve your brain function, your mood, combating anxiety and depression, increasing your resilience to stress, and increasing your longevity. All nice bonuses to strategies designed to massively increase your mitochondrial function and your energy levels. And we've got a whole suite of products, uh, online info products that guide you on strategies to optimize your lifestyle and nutrition habits. Uh, we've got an eat for energy course. We've got a brain course. We've got an advanced fat loss strategies course. We've got a breathing for energy course, which I highly, highly recommend. Uh, people just absolutely rave about that one in particular. And we've got a whole suite of supplements, uh, mitochondrial formula, a brain formula, energy essentials and superfoods, which is our comprehensive multivitamin and multimineral and superfoods formula. 
and much, much more actually. Uh, we've got as of this moment in time, uh, depending on when you're watching this, but as of this moment I'm recording it, I've got an uh, amazing new anti-aging longevity formula on the way and an incredible new sleep formula that will be coming out in the next few weeks. Thank you for watching this. Again, full length uh, link to the full length podcast is down below and uh, check out the energyblueprint.com for our whole suite of products that can help you dramatically transform your energy levels. Talk to you soon.